people it's crystal your very own personal beauty pro and this is another episode of on that note where we actually explore the power of fragrance in helping us be pretty thank you for your lovely responses on the very first episode of on that note and in that one i shared my dramatic experience with parfums de marley and we ended on a cliffhanger with how in the world I went from not getting any fragrances to ending up with all three of the Delina collection. Today we're going to have some fun sharing how that happened. When last we saw Crystal she was in distress. <laughs> My initial reaction to the fragrances was that I didn't quite see myself wanting any of them. After going back and doing some research I found a YouTuber up fabulous girl named Nava Dean who had a similar take on Delina. In her video she did seem to like Delina exclusive and that was one I hadn't yet tried. Now I didn't exactly have high hopes at this point because if I wasn't crazy about the original I'm figuring how much different could the exclusive be. But in her video she dropped a gem. She shared a fragrance that she felt was very similar to Delina Exclusive at a much prettier price point and that was Nina Ricci Rose Estas. So here is the gorgeous bottle. This glass bottle is divine. It is weighted as is the cap. The style of the bottle is just so gorgeous. And I'm going to do a separate video on the Nina Ricci fragrances that I have acquired and what I think about them. Estas means ecstasy in French. So this is called Rose Estas and it's from the Estas collection. Instead of reading you the notes first, first I'll tell you what I thought of the fragrance and then I'll share with you what they say is in it. The mist is beautiful. It's this big wide fluffy mist. I can smell it without even bringing it to my nose. As soon as I sprayed this in the air I thought yes I'm going to love Delina exclusive if this is what it smelled like because I instantly love this and I was thinking this is what I thought Delina would be like from the descriptions. What I get is this smells like a delicious spicy lemonade. That was my initial impression. That's the sweetness that I was hoping for in Delina. So there's a sweetness but there's a peppery spiciness to it. It's a rose but the rose is so beautiful. It's like this deep sensual dark pink rose like someone took a rose and dipped it into this hot and spicy lemonade. I was so glad it still had that tart tangy aspect of the rhubarb that's in Delina because I actually like that note whereas some people don't and the rose of does not have a rhubarb note so I was wondering if I would still get that tangy zesty aspect to it. So the tangy zesty aspect is there with the rose and the sweetness. In the top notes there's red berries, the middle says there's rose and raspberry and then in the base notes there's vanilla, musk and amber wood and they just all blend to be this woody sensual rose with a hint of sweetness. This is one of the most unique fragrances I had tried at that point. I can't quite remember the sillage or the projection because it's been a few months since I've really worn this so I need to wear this and get some more details for you on the wear and the longevity. But when I discovered I love this and I was told that it has the DNA of the Lena Exclusive I was excited and I decided to try the Delina Exclusive. But I said, 
before I do any more blind buying, let me just go to the local Posh department store and smell Delina exclusive for myself. At this particular one, they were just getting in their Parfums de Marley display and there was only one pink Delina bottle. And for some reason, there was no box, there was nothing. And I don't know why I didn't just pull it up online and I didn't recall that Delina Exclusive is actually written on the bottle. So the new sales associate and I were trying to figure out which Delina this was. But in the meantime, he sprayed a little bit on a sample card. We discovered it was the regular Delina. And I still wasn't able to smell the Exclusive. But when I got in my car, that sample card wafted throughout the entire car. And I was reminded of the exquisite quality of that Delina, even though I had initially said I would never buy that. <laughs> I decided to take the plunge and blind buy the Delina exclusive. So the pretty girl arrives in her beautiful light pink bottle with the lovely tassel she's wearing as a scarf. And one little thing some people don't note is the beautiful pink diamond on the cap. And I'm calling it a diamond because at this tea air of fragrances, it should be a real diamond. And my first thought was, this is it. The Delina Exclusive is gorgeous. It is very unique, especially if you come from loving uh, a more simple floral or a simplified fruity floral, then this will smell very different and very unique. It still has that depth, that very deep, rich, herbal quality that the original Delina has, but it also has a more sweetness more of like a powdered sugared incense. Now I do agree that the Nina Ricci Rose Astas puts you in the mind of this, but they are still very different. The Nina Ricci has a much more zesty, zingy, tangy quality, and there's a peppery quality in it too that's also more pronounced. Delina Exclusive has a much richer deeper quality to it. The sillage, the longevity, the projection, the wear are heavenly. In fact, that was never in question, even with the original Delina. The original Delina is very much present in this. Some of the listed notes for the Delina exclusive are, in the top notes, there are lychee, pear, and bergamot. And the middle, Turkish Rose, Agarwood, which is one form of Oud, which is that deep woody fragrance. Incense, which is absolutely gorgeous in this. I can't believe how much I like incense now. Uh, and the base notes is vanilla, so there's that sweetness. Amber is a little sweet and warm and woody also. And you know wood, when you first think of wood, especially as a lady, you may think of something a bit more masculine. But when you really think about it, if you've ever gone into a sawmill or smell freshly chopped wood, depending on what type of tree it's come from, wood has that beautiful, it's like an airy ozone quality and it has a bit of sweetness, a bit of warmth. So wood can add a gorgeous accent to feminine fragrances as well as masculine. And of course, many fragrances are unisex. What I love about Parfums de Marley Delina Exclusive is that I can enjoy it. Some fragrances, you may not be able to smell yourself, but perhaps, you know, people around you may be able to smell it. But with my fragrances, I want to enjoy it also. I want to get occasional whiffs of it. I want it to envelop me. I don't want it to choke me out, but I do want it to embrace me. This fragrance does justice. It's the gift that keeps on giving all day until you remove it and then if it's on clothing or bedding then you can expect to smell it for a while you have to be ready to make a commitment when you wear it so at this point in my parfums to marley experience i am so elated because i finally found a fragrance that i genuinely love and wasn't just getting for the sake of following the crowd but 
there's more to the store. Remember when I said, when I went and thought I was going to test the exclusive, the gentleman ended up spraying uh, the original Delina on the sample card and the fragrance wafted throughout my entire car and lasted forever. Well, I just could not shake it. So I came home and I smelled my Delina sample again. And I thought to myself, you know, you're really not that bad of a fragrance, are you? And the more I smelled it, the more I fell in love with it and appreciated it for the gorgeous scent that it was. I went back and smelled Delina, not with all the reviews and opinions in mind, but I just let it stand on its own. Own. And without the expectations of it being sweet or bridal, I could really appreciate what a unique fragrance it is. It is so, it's deep and rich. It has a very herbal quality to it. It is odd and hard to describe, so I don't blame anyone for having a challenge describing it. It's something you have to definitely get your nose on first. I would not recommend blind buying this. But I say all of that to say that Delina basically dream girled me. She was like, and you, and you, and you, you're gonna love me. <laughs> And so I eventually had to break down and get the original Delina. It was too gorgeous to pass up. And I actually feel like the original is different enough from the exclusive to own both and get two totally different experiences. Yes, they're, they're, oh. they are so aromatic and savory so such an odd beauty they, they have an odd unique beauty definitely not a cookie cutter fragrance but the original is more tart and zesty and spicy whereas the exclusive has that sweet powdered sugared incense in addition to the other quality. As I was minding my own business, wouldn't you know that Parfums de Mali decided they were going to release Delina La Rose in this exquisite frosted pink glass bottle. It didn't seem fair to leave her without her sisters, so here she is. And I was also thinking the sound of a light, airy springtime version of the Delina and the Delina exclusive that I have fallen in love with sounds pretty. When Delina La Rose arrived, before I could spray it, I could smell that Delina DNA. But upon spraying it, you can definitely see that it's its own unique fragrance. The original Delina is playing in the background, but on the top, it's like a, it smells like a fresh rose scented wine spritzer. The listed notes in the La Rose are in the top, lychee, pear, and bergamot. In the mid, peony, that's that pretty floral, watery notes, Turkish rose, that signature rose, floral notes, that's a bit vague, but you can definitely smell the light, pretty florals. It smells like soft white and pink florals. And the base notes say white musk, woody notes, and Haitian vetiver. And as this dries down, you definitely get a very pretty soft musk. It adds an airy, powdery feel to it. So it starts off sparkling and lightly sweetened. As it develops, a beautiful powdery, musky note comes in. This type of fragrance, and actually all three, are typically not my style at all, being a gourmand girl to my heart, as I said before. But it is really a refreshing departure from what I'm used to. All three Delinas have a beautiful, rich, wealthy, feminine quality to them. And this La Rose, I'm going to enjoy wearing this. I'm going to enjoy doing something different. I'm typically definitely not a freshy, so to speak, like one who loves those fresh aquatic fragrances but this one is very pretty and that's exactly how you'll feel wearing it if you like the notes in it you'll feel pretty and it didn't seem right that the girls should be without the rest of their family we have the recently released delina shower gel and the delina 
body cream. Now, generally speaking, I'm not always in a hurry to buy the shower gel or body cream of a fragrance because sometimes or many times the shower gel and the body creams or body lotions don't quite live up to the fragrance. Either they don't have the potency of the fragrance or the quality of the product, like perhaps the shower gel is not as thick and rich as I would like it to be, or the body cream or lotion may not be as nourishing and moisturizing as I like it to be. So sometimes I'm hesitant. Parfums, the Marley quality showed up in the accessories as well as in the fragrance. So that is the rest of the story on how I got to know the Delina girl. I am looking forward to sharing more fragrance content with you in the future and of course we will do our usual beauty. But on that note, I'll see you next time. You keep on talking to me. You keep on telling me your dreams. You keep on talking to me. You keep on talking. But I just wanna see you move. I just wanna see you move. I just wanna see you.